All right, let me start off by saying this. I don't want you to be the dude that does the Axe Spray X on his chest, maybe a couple times, and then you go out in public and walk past some dude named Stuart and give him a freaking brain aneurysm because of your scent, all right? Less is more. That's what I tell my wife every night. <laughs> Crack them out the truckers. <laughs> Something you may not know about me, I love cologne. I've got quite the freaking collection, you know, okay? I have been collecting cologne since uh, probably high school. I just, I love going into stores. I rarely go to the mall, but my wife drags me there sometimes. I'll stay in the cologne section and give some sniffles, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know, something about good scents I freaking love like okay and i thought you know what i spent so much freaking money on cologne over the years i might as well make a vision and try to recoup some of that you know what i mean so let's get down to the freaking nitty-gritty i'm gonna go from the cheapest to the most expensive and then maybe you can use these as good gift ideas or even ask for these as gifts oh also before i get started outlaw original the og of the ogs is out right now in fat cut and pouches if you guys like them natural dips if you like copenhagen snuff if you like copenhagen long cut original if you like grizzly natural if you like those natural dips if you like chewing tobacco this one is going to be for you. You get a little bit of that sweet molasses, a little bit of that bitter tobacco taste, a little bit of smokiness in there. It's a great dip. I love them natural leg hairs on my women, and I love that natural dip in my lips, son. So go out and get you some Outlaw OG Original. Now, this is a list of my top seven. Like I said, cheapest to most expensive. Doesn't mean that one's better than the other, but I'm just saying, if you walk past me and you smell fruity, I'm like, this. what the f like, what is wrong with you, dude? I don't, if you smell fruity, you probably like it in the booty. So get out of here with that crap. I'm not going over fruity colognes today. We're going over manly freaking men colognes, all right? We're going over some where you spray that some dick and a chick's going to break her freaking neck looking back at you, all right? So with all that being said, let's go ahead and start off with an OG, like I said. And we've got two because I'm just cheating a little bit. And, and, and the first one is going to have two. We're talking Stetson, folks. Stetson Original and Stetson Black. I put two in here because these two, you can pretty much find them at any Western store out there. And two OGs in the game. These have been around for so freaking long. And this scent is probably the most manly scent you can smell. If somebody walks past me, one... I know the smell of Stetson so freaking well because I wore this all throughout high school. I would go to the Grizzly Rose in Denver and, or, or Red Rocks and see a concert, and this is what I'd be wearing, and that's what it reminds me of. Stetson Black is just a little sweeter and, in my opinion, better for the summertime. Now, when I go over some of these scents and some of these colognes, some are going to be for the fall and winter, and some are going to be for the summer and spring. It's August. It's hot in Colorado. I'm going to go with Stetson Black over Stetson Original. Maybe we're going to a fancy dinner up in the mountains or something like that, and it's like uh, we're all wearing freaking tuxes and something. That's when I might go with the Stetson Original. So before I spray, I think, what am I doing? What's the occasion? Am I going to the beach? Some people probably won't spray cologne on if they're at the beach. But like I said first, less is more. So I don't want you to be... And we're going to go over pressure points and where you should spray it and all that stuff or in a minute. But there's a time and a place for every scent. Somebody walked past me and they're watching. Sorry, I just had a brain aneurysm and my name's not even Stuart. <laughs> if somebody walks past me wearing Stetson Original, I'm just going to, like my body's just going to automatically salute him. And I might fall to my freaking knees. Such a manly smell. If you want to be respected... Get you some freaking Stetson. This some bitch is like 25 bucks. I think you can get it on Amazon for like 25 bucks, 30 bucks. You can get it at Shepler's, get it at a boot barn, any Western store, Cavenders, things like that. Most of them have Stetson and Stetson Black. Get both. One for the summer and the spring, one for the, the wintertime. Stetson is number one on our list. The cheapest, but also one of the best. Now, I got to give a shout out to myself. <laughs> We're going to go quickly on this one because this one you can find at a lot, a lot of Western stores as sell, uh, or, or you can just search it online. Amazon, I think, has this too. Let me get a good sniffle here. Oh, what an OG smell. Some of these got dust on it because I ain't freaking worn it in forever, but this one right now, shout out to myself. We're talking about Outlaw, son. 
This is a cologne, cheap cologne. You can get it at any Webster store. 20, 30 bucks, like I said, but the scent, so manly, peppery, not sweet, but just, God, it just, oh my gosh, it just reminds me of chest hair, dude. If you wear like Wranglers, if you wear cowboy boots, these are ones that you definitely want. Stetson is, is, is one, Outlaw is definitely one. Like if you're at a rodeo event or something like that, this is an amazing cologne, cheap, but also just so versatile and so many different, like I could be at a nice freaking dinner and rock this and somebody would be like, wow, like I've never smelt that scent before. It's so, it's just, I love it. It's one of my favorites. I've had this and I, this is probably my 20th bottle. Outlaw Cologne for Men. It doesn't say boys. It's a great scent. It's cheap. Go out and get you some. And also, it's got a pretty cool name. And no, I do not manufacture this cologne. Everybody thinks that this is my cologne, like when they see it in a store. It is not. I don't know who it's made by. It's probably made by Boot Barn Shepplers or freaking whoever owns that kind of crap. Great cologne, super cheap, just like the Stetson. Numero tres. Now this one, my wife's is, is probably my wife's favorite that I wear. It's not very expensive and it's not what you would expect a man to wear as far as the brand goes. The brand is Versace, folks. This is Versace Man. I don't know how to say the damn name, but Ua Fraki or something like that, dude. When it comes to cologne and when it comes to high-end cologne like Versace and all this other crap, it gets a little freaking weird, okay? But this is the bottle that comes in. I just call it Versace Light Blue. That's what I call it. I'll put all of the actual names of what these are in the description box below. Uh, so you guys can check it out for yourself. But this cologne right here, it's not very expensive. I get it all the time and it is the perfect everyday cologne. This cologne, when I say summer cologne, I mean this is summer only, okay? This is like a perfect cologne going to the beach. This is the perfect cologne at the pool, okay? When you're near water, all right? This is like the perfect one. But even if you're not, and it's the summertime, and it's hot outside, this one is great. It's a fresh, it's like fresh laundry. It's like, there's a little bit of floral in there. Not fruity, but floral. It's absolutely just a stunner when it comes to the women. My wife absolutely loves this. Every single time I spray it she's like oh my she's oh she just falls on the floor and starts you know it's like she's at church or something and the Lord is going into her smells this some bitch and starts speaking tongues all right Versace makes a lot of good sense but they also make a lot of really fruity just nonsense that I just think, you know, that they make, oh, this is the perfect cologne for when you're at the club. Well, nobody's watching my videos probably going to a freaking club, okay? At least I think. I apologize if you are, Chad, Brad, freaking Chandler. God dang, son, just a, such a cleanly smell. If you stink, okay, because I know a lot of you freaking do, you blue-collar boys out there that just freaking reek constantly. First of all, wear de deodorant. Second of all, just a little bit of spray of this son, dick boy, you gonna be good. Let's talk about pressure points real quick. Guys, you want to spray where your freaking arteries are, okay? I don't know exactly where arteries... I'm just... I'm, let's, let's get into pressure points, okay? And we're talking about where to spray, not where to kill somebody. We can go over that in another video. Okay, this is where I usually spray. If I'm going to spray, usually, if I'm just going out, I don't want to smell too crazy. Like, I don't want people to just be like, oh my gosh. But if they get close to me, it's like, oh, oh, hey, he smells pretty good. One spray right here in my freaking, I like to call them my gonads, but these aren't my gonads. What are these called? Your tonsils. That's right. Right here, kind of on the tonsils, okay? What I like to do is I like to, there's flies all over this gosh dang place, is I like to take a little bit of Vaseline or something and maybe get it, not too much because you don't want your neck to be shiny, just a little bit of Vaseline or moisturizer or something, and then apply the fragrance just a little bit. Maybe just two sprays. That's all you'll freaking need, okay? And then having the moisturizer or the Vaseline is going to let that freaking cologne sit on there for much, much longer than just going straight onto your skin. Another favorite spot right here on the inner elbow. Anywhere where you have a lot of sweat buildup, don't do under the armpits, but right here, perfect spot. Behind the ear, perfect spot. Don't be spraying down your freaking pants and for sure don't be spraying your booty hole. It's not gonna work and I hope nobody's down there sticking their nose up in that crevice. Actually, honestly, if you do, <laughs> congrats. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, uh... Anyway, moving on. Now this next one is a favorite of mine because I have so many fragrances from these guys and it's not even a spray. It's a roll-on. 
It's in oil. Guys, check this out. I'm pulling it out. Look at this. It's called, they're called Musk and Hustle. They're made in America, made in Utah. I love these guys. I've been buying their stuff for years. This is a little leather like sheath that they have. Dude, they have so much cool, so many cool products. I've been using you guys for so long. They have keychains. This is the number 24. They number all of them. They take some of your favorite colognes and some of the most expensive fragrances out there and make their own out of it. This is an oil. Check this out, guys. This is a roll-on. They call these the, the nitro um, sticks or to, to be on this, I, I mean, it, I don't even know what the hell some of these are called. I got some more right here. It's a roll-on, okay? I'm gonna roll it on right here. This is my favorite scent right here, number 24, which is based off of Aventus Creed, which if you know anything about Aventus, Aventus Creed is like $400 a bottle for a fragrance. It's absolutely insanity, folks. I don't even know how much this sumbitch is. I can't even remember. It was like 30 bucks or 40 bucks. Come on, and it smells even better. And being an oil rather than a spray, it lasts forever because you barely have to use any. It's so freaking amazing, man. I love these guys. Musk and Hustle. Number 24 is my favorite based off of Aventus Creed, which my boys at Musk and Hustle, they have formed me that they have a new number, a reformulation of the number 24 coming out very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Guys, they also have, look at this, man. And I told you, it's not sponsored. I just love these guys and I'm giving them a shout out right now. Absolutely love these guys. They need to call this on bitch the revolver. These are just little, they call them stubbies. Go to their website and you'll scroll for days. This is number 37. I don't know, I don't have the, oh God, they freaking smell so good. I think this one's polo something. Holy smokes, guys, look at this. All these different scents, try them out. Absolutely amazing. And if you guys want to freaking save some freaking moolah, Musk and Hustle, number 24 is number four on the list. Let's go ahead and just put this right here. Absolutely love these guys. They have a bunch of accessories and all that stuff. This one's my favorite. A couple honorable mentions. I love the polo red that they make. It actually looks red. I love it. It's 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 a it's a really good scent for the fall. It's spicy. It's a little bit floral. Absolutely love it. I love the spicy ones for fall, especially when the weather changes. Absolutely love it. But this number 24, if you're going to use this, it's it's got a little bit of smokiness to it, which I love as well. You can wear this scent year around. And the other cool thing is on their website, and when you order it, you get these little cards that tell you the time of year that you can wear it. They tells you where to apply your cologne, how to use it, what the scent is for, what the what the the, the scent notes are. It's it's awesome, man. I love this company, Made in America. And they're a bunch of good guys and their packaging is immaculate. As somebody who has a company in the, and products that are made in America, I love these guys. Musk and Hustle, check them out. Oh, you know what? I, it's not even sponsored. I'm going to put their link in the description box below. Check them out, baby. If you see a bunch of freaking flies flying around, it's because it smells so gosh dang good in here. Duh! <laughs> All right, let's move on. It's not because I haven't taken a shower in freaking 14 days. Moving on to five, folks. Now, this one right here is a Perfumo. I think it's called, okay? So this is when you start to get a little bit higher end, all right? This is when you spray something, and I don't know the logistics. All I know is if, like this one right here, this is a toilet, okay? You look on your freaking, your fragrances at home and stuff like that, and it says toilet, which I think it's supposed to be like, it did toilet or something like that. But we're men, okay? We say toilet, all right? Basically, if it says toilet, that's the cheaper version, and it's not gonna last as long. Now, if it says perfumo, it's good, you know, it's like mid-level, it's pretty damn good, it's gonna last pretty gosh dang long, and that's our next one on the list, which is Aqua Digio Giorgio Armani. This one, such a strong, manly scent. It smells rich and peppery and oh my gosh it's such an amazing scent like some fragrances that a lot of men wear women can also wear it this is definitely not one of them you know what i mean if you if you see a woman sm smelling like this like you're gonna be like something's wrong with that woman or not wrong with that woman i should probably stop talking about that again <clears throat> this is such an, I love this smell. God dang, son. Aqua Digio, Giorgio Armani. If you want other people to feel like you are important, also, when you start getting up in price point too, they do things like this. It's, it's a magnet top. Absolutely love that. If you're trying to make an impression on somebody, listen, man, you only need one spray of this. You could easily overdo a 
profumo, okay? You don't want to overdo it. If you overdo it, then you absolutely just ruined it, okay? You gotta just do one little spray of this guy, okay? Because trust me, this is gonna stick around for a while, and if you do like four or five sprays on every single spot, and it's on your clothes, and it's soaking in, dude, you are going to turn off a lot of freaking people, okay? There, more people out there are gonna be turned off if you smell really good, but it's just too much of it. Listen, man, it's a big turn off for men and women. Not just as like, oh, sexually attracted to you, just as like somebody who wants to be around you. If you walk into Home Depot and you just reek of cologne, nobody's gonna wanna be around you. They're like, dude, you're over freaking doing it, man. You're trying too hard. You don't wanna be trying too hard. You don't, nobody likes to try hard. One little spray will do you, son. This one is, in my opinion, when you're talking about a fall scent, when you're talking about something maybe around Halloween, maybe you go to a, a family dinner, or like I said, maybe you're going to a nice meeting or something like that, this is the perfect one. This is, this reminds me of Halloween. This reminds me of Thanksgiving, family dinners. Just a little spray. God, it's a, it's a manly smell that I absolutely love. And dude, you will not be disappointed, but I said it and I'll say it again. Go light. I don't even know if y'all can see over this far. We got two left. This one right here is the highest rated from what I could find online and videos I've watched and f through people that I've had smell and women. This is the highest rated cologne and fragrance that I've ever had by women. Anytime a woman smells this against anything else, they always choose this one. It's a secret, not a lot of people talk about it. I don't even know what the freaking thing is called to be honest. But it's YSL, I call it YSL Blue. I'm going to get the actual freaking name of it. YSL Blue, guys, Yves Saint Laurent. You guys probably, they freaking make purses and girls' shoes and all that crap. I don't know what the hell they make. But this fragrance is unbelievable. This fragrance is just like, when you have a woman smell this, they automatically, their eyes roll back in their head. They start convulsing. It's it's worse than church, son. It's crazy. They absolutely love this scent. Oh my gosh, it smells it smells like you own a yacht. That's what it smells like. But it also smells like you're a man. That's what I'm saying. Like it doesn't smell like you own a freaking speedboat and you like to go down to Sarasota and race it on the weekends like a freaking douche who drives a yellow Corvette. No, this is like you own a freaking yacht and you're on the Amalfi Coast. And your name's George Clooney with chest hair. That's what this smells like. God dang, son. YSL Blue, that's what I call it. It's another perfume. perfume. It's, it's not a toilet, okay? This one is freaking amazing. An absolute perfect summer and spring fragrance. It's light, it's airy, it's clean. I can't even explain it. It's so freaking good, dude. I said this is probably my wife's favorite cologne. It, it probably is because this is the one I wear more often. But anytime I put this one on, it's going to be a special night. I'll just say that. Okay? <laughs> it's going to be a special one. <laughs> <coughs> All right, folks, I need a goddamn drum roll now. Give me a drum roll. We got number seven here. Or might we say number one, it's my favorite fragrance of all freaking time. And it is very pricey, but God dang, son. Oh, it, this smell right here is the epitome of man. This scent right here just fit. I mean, God, dude. This is like the scent that you worked your butt off all gosh dang day and you sweat. And you got your freaking, God, I hate being blonde because I barely, you can't even see my freaking hair. You just freaking rip that shirt open. And it's like, you're not freaking Fabio. No, Fabio is like a woman. Look at that hair. Come on now. No, dude, you got that beard. You got, you just worked all day and you took a shower and you coming out looking like a fine dime. This is what you wear, son. This is the ultimate men's cologne, in my opinion. If I smell this on a, this is just, this sounds a little weird, but if I smell this on a guy, I'm going to let you, I'm going to go up and shake your hand and be like, you know what the, you're doing, son. You know what you're doing, dude. And I'm not going to freaking let go, man. I'm not letting go, dude. Holy shit. You smell so freaking good, dude. We're talking Tom Ford, folks. This is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Oh, dude. We're talking leather notes we're talking oh my gosh dude i get like tobacco 
I get spicy pepper. I'm getting leather. I'm getting, gosh dang, I'm getting freaking everything. It's such a great smell. The bottle is absolutely insane. Tom Ford ombre leather. I don't even know how much this costs. I think it was like 300 bucks. I bought it, I think, when I was in Vegas. You no, know, this was a gift, actually. This was a gift from my father-in-law, actually. Absolutely love it. It's a perfume, so you know it's freaking good. It's going to last a while. This smell is just like you are, you're, you're the freaking man when you wear this, okay? Tom Ford, very expensive, just like the Aventus colognes are. But this one right here, it will be like an all-time favorite, and I will always keep one of these on my fragrance shelf. I will always keep it. It's just an amazing smell. Anytime I want to freaking impress somebody, dude, it's just, this is it, man. If you take a freaking man's shirt off and you just want to freaking get up in his chest hair and you smell that, you about to have the wildest ride of your life, lady. <laughs> dude, this song, oh, I just, I can't even, I can't even, man. That is it. So, folks, there is all seven. You probably can't even see the entire line up here. I have been obsessed with fragrances and colognes for so long. And I've wanted to make a video like this for so gosh dang long and I finally done it. You guys probably don't even care, but if you want to smell better, if you want to better your hygiene, don't forget to take showers. This isn't going to cover it, you know, take a shower. But at the same time, if you want to smell like an actual freaking man, like I said, the first rule is don't go too much. That's the biggest problem that you can make. But then wear one of these seven, actually eight right here. Trust me. You gonna get the girl, son. But make sure you get the right girl, okay? Don't get no gosh dang girl who's wanting you to buy her all this crap because you smell like you rich and stuff like that, okay? Fine, you, you wear one of these, okay? You're gonna be finding a girl that's gonna be paying for stuff for you, okay? You want a new freaking truck? She's got you, son. You, no, but they, listen, it's 2023. There's no such thing as a sugar daddy anymore, son. It's sugar mommy season. All you need is one of these. You got yourself a sugar mommy, son. That, I should just stop talking. That's going to do it for me. My name is Outlaw, and I am out, y'all. Don't forget Outlaw Origin now. It's so freaking new. I don't even have a side label on it. I've been dipping it the entire video, and I still got gosh dang juice. Mm, God dang, it smells like Chad and Chandler's tears after watching this gosh dang video. I appreciate you. My name is Outlaw and I am out, y'all. We'll see you on the dip side. I am going to go see if my wife will buy me a new truck. <laughs> Turn it off! Sad it's over. Click on one of these videos to continue your adventure. Y'all come back now, you hear?